Burrow. Mix of chemicals caught a light at an industrial estate. It set off a series of fiery explosions that could be seen for kilometres. Spectacular and lethal. <laughs> Barrels of toxic waste, hundreds of them, exploding like rockets into the night sky. Shrapnel showered the industrial estate. At times, firefighters forced to retreat. The blaze, for some hours, too potent to tackle. There's, there's hundreds of firemen here, but they just can't kill, kill you. When the flames weren't overwhelmingly fierce, the fumes were. We had 44-gallon drums filled with chemicals exploding, going about two or 300 feet in the air. The yard, a solvent recycling store, was holding tons of liquid waste. Such as methanol, ethanol, white spirits, all of which are highly flammable. Seriously restricting the firefight, low water pressure. We've got a lack of water supplies. Some nearby homes and businesses were evacuated. By morning, from above, the real damage was clear, looking not unlike a bombsite. It's probably the largest spectacle I've seen since the fireworks in Sydney Harbour. Many of the drums this morning still threatened to explode. Gas continued to pollute the neighbourhood. The facility was under investigation by the EPA for operating without a waste activity licence. The owner, seen here at the scene last night, has been interviewed by Windsor detectives. The site remains very unstable. The fire brigade says it may take another day to cool the drums before it's safe to attempt any sort of clean-up. Michael Usher, National 9 News. Again exploding, narrowly missing homes and emergency crews. We just woke up to the fire, next thing you know, they are evacuated us. The drums, way over 100 feet in the air, way over, fireballs just landing everywhere. At the peak of the blaze, firefighters were battling temperatures of more than 1,000 degrees Celsius. The fire fueled by exploding drums of highly flammable methanol, ethanol. Both highly solvents used to down paint. The business, Resolve Liquids, kept hundreds of drums on site. Locals say the lethal stock was an accident waiting to happen. I don't know how that could go on for so long. I really don't. It was from boundary to boundary, fence to fence. Today, EPA inspectors took away a sample of murky solution from the smoking drums, much like the one they took six weeks ago after another contamination scare at the yard. Yes, the EPA have been out. We've had the EPA out a few times when we had a few complaints from the guys from the factory. The damage bill is expected to turn into the millions. Joanna Rouse, 7, Night News. Prime Minister Howard is considering a huge fire at a chemical dump on his western outskirts. Explosions rocked the...